All right, at this point, I'm going to introduce our guest speaker. Uh, he's a kid that I know really well. I, I've known him basically probably his whole life. Uh, he's a 2010 graduate of Shelton High School. Uh, he was an excellent football player for us. He went on to have a great career at Stonehill College. Uh, now he's back working, working around and uh, helping out coach our, our wide receivers in Shelton. So our, our guest speaker for today is Paul Piccarillo. Um, I'd like to start off by thanking the Rotary Club and uh, Coach Roy for um, inviting me to speak about this uh, wonderful tradition. Um, it wasn't that long ago, it was only six years ago when I was sitting exactly where all you seniors are right now. Um, it's an honor and privilege to be a high school football player in the Valley. Um, to be honest with you, I really don't remember my senior year who the guest speakers were, but I, I really wish I did. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, I mean, you guys have probably heard this over and over again. Um, you never really understand how much you miss playing this game until it's over. Um, you know, I was fortunate enough to play in college for four years, but you know, nothing compares to playing alongside guys you, you've grown up with your whole entire life. Um, you know, in college, you know, you get guys from around, you know, everywhere from the tri-state area, you know, all the way down. You know, my three college roommates were from California. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, learning about, about the tradition of this game uh, all started, you know, down at the youth level. Um, and each year as you grow a little bit older, you get to, you know, understand what this rivalry actually means to both cities. Um, you know, you, you gain knowledge as you, you know, keep climbing the ladder, climbing the ladder, and, you know, now you guys are seniors. And um, it's crazy how, how, how time flies. You know, what did I tell some of you guys at the beginning of the year? And I said, don't blink. And, and now look at you, you know what I mean? Um, I still remember, you know, my senior, my senior year Thanksgiving Day game at Derby. Um, to be honest, I liked playing at Derby on Thanksgiving more than I did in Shelly. Um, it just felt more like Thanksgiving to me. Uh, you know, with the old wooden benches and, and grass field, it just felt like a more of a, uh, a grinded out type field. Um, but for those of you who don't remember, uh, my senior year, 2009, the fall, got pretty chippy. Um, some cheap shots were thrown. Uh, a fight broke out. You know, things happen. It's a man's game. It's played with a lot of emotion. Um, but that's not what the game's about. Uh, you guys are, you know, you guys got to go out on Thanksgiving and represent your towns to the best of your ability and uh, play with honor and pride. Uh, no matter what happens, last high school game or not, uh, you'll remember this one for the rest of your life. I can guarantee that. Um, like I said, I remember, remember it like it was yesterday, even though it wasn't that long ago. Um, and unfortunately, life does go on after high school football. Um, you know, you seniors are going to have to make some important decisions coming up. You know, where you want to go to school, what you guys want to study, or whether you even want to play sports in college or not. Um, and if you do decide to go on and play sports, uh, for, I'm going to use myself as an example. Um, you know, I played four years at Stonehill, and it, uh, it, it, being in the Shelton football program really, really got me ready to play at the, next, at the college level. Um, you know, my freshman and my sophomore year, I played a lot. And my junior year, going into my junior year, my coach was very down on me for other reasons I can't really discuss here. But uh, <laughs> he wasn't too happy with me. Uh, so I didn't play a lot my junior year, and I really just felt like quitting. And, you know, I would sit and talk to my dad over and over again and be like, you know, do I really want to, you know, play football anymore? And um, the Shell football program, and I'm sure you guys can say the same over at Derby, it really installs that don't quit mentality. And I, uh, you know, and I just want, you know, and it was just an unbelievable experience. And I went on into my senior year. And I actually had a successful season both on and off the field. Um, I was one of the first people in my class, my graduating class, to get hired. I was hired in March before I even got my bachelor's degree. So that just goes to show you um, what football does for you, you know, outside of you know playing. Um, at the end of the day, when your playing days are over, uh, you'll you'll understand how the how the game really does prepare you for life. Um, it's helped me in my sales career and just my life in general. Uh, you know, how to overcome adversity, how to communicate with other people, um, how to be a team player, and most of all, how to be, be a leader. Um, 
You attribute your gain, lessons you learned throughout your playing days will help you for the rest of your life. I want to wish uh, both teams the best of luck and um, wish everybody happy Thanksgiving and roll gales.